Here with head coach Mark McQueen and coach offense came alive today, 14 hits, nine runs. Talk a little bit about the long ball and what that role that played. Well, you know, getting off to a start early in the game, you know, first inning getting three runs was huge for us. Uh, the first two guys did a great job of executing the offense, and uh, and Jake Mayer's got a hanging breaking ball, and he did what he's supposed to do and hit it over the fence. So to get three right off the bat was outstanding. I thought that was one of our best offensive games of the year as far as uh, – uh, pounding out hits and also executing the offense when we needed to, moving runners up, getting sack flies. I was very happy with our offense today. A couple of great pitching performances. Alex Maffa gets the win and a solid start, and then Andrew Brocken nails the door down for his sixth save of the year. Oh, Alex, you know, again, uh, thrown into the starting role you know, about three weeks ago, and um, he's given, given us nothing but quality starts. Um, I thought he got a little bit tired in that third inning. Uh, you know, the heat and everything was getting to him a little bit. Then he had a quick inning, and he said he started feeling better. I think he started pitching a little bit better later in the game, locating pitches and uh, and started Brown, pounding the zone. Did a great job. Obviously, Brockett Brown, came in, did exactly in what we needed to do. Didn't want to use him uh, as early as you know as I could, uh, or I mean as I did. But uh, you know, you got to win each, uh, one game at a time. So I went ahead and put him out there, and he did a great job. Talk a little bit about the importance of winning in the first game and staying in that winner's bracket. Well, you know, last year we made it to the finals and uh, we were on our fifth game and Charlotte was on their third. So obviously your pitching is going to get a little bit thin and our pitching staff's a little bit thin right now. You know, we're banged up and uh, we have been all year, but the guys are doing a great job. And uh, uh, so, you know, staying in the winner's bracket cuts down the number of your games. And, you know, now we get a chance to play the number one team, so I'm pretty excited. Here with senior pitcher Alex Mavid, who gets the win today in the first round of the Atlantic 10 tournament. Alex, what was your feeling out there? How did you feel you had? I felt good. Um, in the first couple innings, I was up in the zone a little bit, and I lost control a little bit in the third. They, they got two on me, but uh, I settled in a little bit and uh, attacked the zone. That's the main thing about pitching, just you know, challenge the hitters and you know, gave my ch team a chance to win, so it was good. Offense continued to put some runs up on the board for you. What's it mean for you when you see your kind of support you're getting from the uh, from the bats? Oh, it's huge. It's a huge confidence builder. You know, going out there pitching with the lead is that's what baseball is all about. You can challenge the hitters, and you know, the offense did great today. It was it was great to be pitching behind them. How important was it to get a first win, stay in the winners bracket here in the first round? It's huge for us. I mean, you know, uh, UMass has to play later on the night, which is you know doubling up is always tough. And getting the first win, getting started off on the right foot, uh, it's huge in this tournament. So, you know, we got Sterling going tomorrow for us against uh, St. Louis, who's a good team. So we'll carry it in tomorrow and uh, get another W. Here is senior outfielder Phil Rosbarski, who had quite the day at the plate. Phil, you went three for five today with a home run. How did you feel at the plate offensively? Well, really, uh, I mean, the past few weekends, uh, I've been feeling comfortable with the plate, just kind of pulling off a little bit. So in the cages today and uh, the few practice days leading up to uh, the game today, I've really just been focusing up the middle, and um, I think that's kind of helped me stay through the ball. I really wasn't trying to put any, anything uh, extra on the ball or sw over swing. Uh, I actually was just trying to stay loose with my hands and uh, make solid contact, and um, that's what happens when, when you uh, meet the ball. In the seventh inning, you hit a one of the more impressive home runs this season, an absolute line drive over the center field fence, the 400-foot mark. Talk us, walk us through that at bat. Well, like I said, um, I've, been, I've just been trying to stay loose up there. Um, I really wasn't trying to overswing in that at bat any more than any other at bat today or the past few weeks. Um, I've just been trying to stay up the middle, and he left a pitch uh, pretty much right over the right over the plate and. Um, if you generate power here, the ball's going to be going to be flying out of the park. The wind's been blowing out all day, so it was uh, just a huge win for us in general. Talk a little bit more about that. How just important it was to get a win in the first round? Well, I mean, any any time you can get off on the right foot and get a W uh, as the first win in the tournament, uh, it's huge. Um, it saves your pitching today. Great, uh, great performance by Alex Maffitt. He gave us a great start, uh, going six and two thirds. That's going to help us out later on down the road um, in the following games. And uh, it's always just huge. We had a lot of momentum. We've been playing good the past two series, and uh, definitely showed today. We carried that into today's game.